Hello everyone, I thought I'd do a very quick review without showing my face because I look god awful on YouTube of an enema bag, what it involved and how I felt after. I bought an enema bag off um, Amazon, it was 20 quid or something. It holds three pints of water. I am used to doing an enema bulb because I suffer from irritable bowel syndrome and I'm on a low fibre diet, which is extremely helpful, but the vegetable option is very boring. Anyway, every now and then I get a bit bunged up, very, very rarely, and sometimes feel the need to do an enema bulb. And I thought an enema, an enema bulb was fine, but it turns out it's not that good for you in the long run. But an, en an enema bag is much better for you. Um, they say to do an enema bag once a week, once a month. Personally, I would just do it whenever I felt I had to, which hopefully would only be once a year or once every six months or something like that. Um, what you do is you fill it up with where you connect it. If you get one and it's got this really, really thin hose that you don't know what the hell it's for, that's meant to be for very, very if you're very concerned about it being painful when you slide the, the tubey thing into your anus, then that's what that's for. Um, you just slide that in, apparently. Anyway, I didn't bother with that because I'm all right with a normal one. You connect it all up, rinse it out and all of that business. I filled it up with boiled, cooled water. Um, put it on the door handle, lay on the floor. It's uncomfortable in the fact that you're on the floor. You're not, at least with an enema bulb, you're on the bed. But anyway, you're on the floor with a load of towels under you. You've got the clamp close to hand. It's a bit awkward. It wasn't a relaxing, pleasant experience at all in that sense. Um, you put the tube up, like the little nozzle thing up, which is fine. Um, I lubricate it with Boots lubricant or something. Um, you put the tube up and then you slowly release the water a little bit at a time. And it doesn't hurt. It's not uncomfortable in that sense. It's only uncomfortable because you're lying on the floor. Um, it doesn't hurt. It's not uncomfortable. You, f you let the water seep in. You start to feel a bit, oh, I might need to do a poo. Oh, it cramps a little bit. So then you stop it, let it, you know, settle in for a little bit and then you start it again. And I suppose it took about 15 minutes for the bag to empty. Then you're meant to let it sit in you for, you know, five or ten minutes. Well, I couldn't let it sit in me for five or ten minutes. As soon as the bag emptied, I needed to get rid of it. And it started, in fact, coming out. So I ran to the toilet, unleashed a waterfall of brown, pooey water and some very big, and I was very happy about this, very big, compacted stools which I think have been causing me problems. I went to Italy in August. The restaurant, the hotel where we stayed wasn't like a normal family hotel. It was a bloody a la carte restaurant. The food was really, really rich. It wasn't that nice. And it's and I haven't been the same since. So I think that, that um, all those bloody impacted stools were that flipping food because I've got a very, very, I've been to specialists. I've got a very, very slow traction stuff does not move through me quickly it takes months anyway it all comes out it feels wonderful then you think you're finished and you're just sitting there relax you know getting your breath not that you have to strain or anything like that because believe me it comes out so you're getting your breath um then it's all of a sudden a load more water gushes out of you pooey water and a load more compacted stools it's very very good and then that's it. You're emptied out. You feel a million times better. I did the procedure twice. Um, I think they like you to have six pints of water in you all in one go, but my bag isn't six pints worth. So I had to do it twice. Same thing again. You get a lot of stuff coming out, even on the second go. And everything was fine. Um, I wasn't sore. Nothing. The next day I did a small poo and then after that I didn't do a poo for about three days 
and I was very bloated and very windy. So I was thinking, oh, this is no bloody good. I'm, I want to relieve my bloating. I want to get rid of my wind. So I was very bloated and very windy. And then um, the bloke at the gym, my little personal trainer fella at the gym said, um, oh, you need to replace your probiotics. Just have some gherkins or something. Have some pickles. Well, I can't have sauerkraut because it's cabbage and cabbage is high fibre and I'm on a low fibre diet but I can have gherkins. So I came home and had gherkins and almost immediately my bloating started to go down and I started to poo normally again. I also, I'd run out of bio cult in the orange box, which I'm a big fan of and I've replenished them now, so that's good. So the, together with the pickles and eventually the bio cult, I'm back to normal now. I feel so much bloody better. My stomach is so much flatter. I'm doing normal poos the way I ought to be doing poos. And it was just a very good, recommended experience. If anybody wants to know more about my low fibre diet, let me know. Um, I was uh, put on it by the specialist at a specialist bowel hospital via the NHS and it was, it was very useful. Um, so that's that. All right then. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.